you. Friends, we stand here today because we are united by a set of values which are an affront to Tommy Robinson and those marching with him today, a belief in the rights which are owed to all, regardless of race, religion, nationality or ethnicity. And I stand here as the director of the Palestine Solidarity Campaign and as a Palestinian to assert this fundamental truth that a movement in the UK against all forms of racism must include confronting anti-Palestinian racism. And confronting, confronting anti-Palestinian racism in this country means not just rejecting the attempts of the far right to demonize those marching in opposition to Israel's genocide, it means standing in solidarity with why they are marching. It means standing in full opposition to the unbroken chain of racist violence Israel has unleashed since 1948 in order to dispossess an indigenous people, colonize their land, ethnically cleanse those it is able to, and subject those it does not ethnically cleanse or kill to a system of apartheid. If we fail to address this system of racism, then we allow it to be normalized and then we give fuel to the far right. There is a reason why those rallying behind us today in Parliament Square, many of them will be wrapping themselves in the flag of Israel. There is a reason why Maloney and Le Pen and Orban and all of the far-right parties on the rise in Europe see Israel as a lodestar, a model of the ethno-nationalist supremacist states they wish to see established. There is a reason why white supremacists in the United States call themselves white Zionists because they understand Zionism as the ideology that justifies an ethno-nationalist state that asserts that in all of the land between the river and the sea, one people, Jewish Israelis have rights and another, Palestinians, none at all. So a coherent anti-racist movement must oppose all such ideologies, must oppose all forms of colonialism, including Israel's settler colonialism, must oppose apartheid and must oppose genocide as the highest form of racism. And finally, when people try to divide this movement by stating that to challenge Israel and the doctrines of Zionism is to be anti-Semitic, who try to conflate anti-Zionism and anti-Semitism, we robustly push back and say that anti-Semitism, the despicable hatred of the Jewish people, can never and must never be equated with opposition to Israel's system of racist oppression. So today, let us say in one voice, no to Robinson, no to Farage and all of the far right, no to Israel's system of apartheid and genocidal violence, yes to justice, yes to equality and yes 